so we are going to look for traditional food but in this case what looks available what seems to be available is uh, nyama choma um, or what we call in Namibia as kapana so Swahili I think in the part of Kenya so they call it nyama choma so that's where we headed and this is the beautiful road of Rundu so I'm taking you so we headed there so I'm going to show you uh, what the situation is like and uh, so if, so far it's a good fantastic weather it's very interesting weather you see cloud covers all over so it's, it, it's the weather is so beautiful here so that's the situation right here and that's exactly what we're going to do so we are I'm on the way to look for traditional food I'm on the way to eat on the market today I'm going to eat on the market uh, so that's what we're going to do so the situation looks okay I'm, I can't wait to, to, to go on the market and eat and just see the reaction of the market ladies, uh, what they're gonna do, how they're gonna treat me. So we, we are going to look at the hospitality, how these people are going to welcome me on the market. So that's the situation, that's what exactly, that's the situation right here. And that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, it's a beautiful weather, fantastic weather. The cloud covers up in, in touch, you can see. Uh, you know the interlocking of trees and the clouds up there in the sky is beautiful weather so it looks fantastic so that's the situation right here so let's keep going i'm gonna take you but there seems to be a bit of congestion a little bit of traffic ahead so let's see what will happen so let's go for namibia stand by namibia standards uh, this is uh, the congestion uh, here so yeah it's a bit congested but let's go, let's keep going. Uh, I see the bus is trying to force its way in. Um, yeah, it's a situation, probably we, we yield to the bus so you can, can go. Okay, get on the road now, we need to go. See the bus driver taking a long time. And then a cab just cuts through here regardless. What is the situation here? So what do you do? So it's crazy. Literally stuck in the traffic. You're not going nowhere. So as we approach the roundabout, let's see if we can get some meat. Uh, we see we go around the roundabout. And okay, I'm on the market now. So you can see behind me there's meat. And that's what I'm going to try here. There's no fork, unfortunately. So if you want meat, you come here, so you will get meat. It's readily available. Um, this is this is one Namibian dollar. I think roughly uh, is about a 10 cent US dollar. So that's how cheap meat is. Pretty much cheap. And the markets like this are everywhere. Meat is relatively cheap. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I have to eat, I have to go store to store and just try every meat and see how nice these guys are. But that's exactly the situation. Hello? Hello? My brother. And then they put chili here so you can see chili. Yeah, that's the situation right there. Um, <laughs> mm, it's just chilling. 
So it's being spiced a little bit and then uh, yeah, so let's see, yeah, there's some chili, putting on chili, I need to eat here, so I, once I'm done I go try everywhere, no, it's fine. I don't have a fork. What do I need a fork? I don't have a fork. Hello. Fine, how are you? Yes. No, it's my YouTube channel. Yes. Oh, no, Nyara. I'm not going to go at least no, no fork, you know. Okay. Now what to <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. So I've done eating. Uh, so I'm done with um, with kapana. So that was kapana. It's fantastic. It's great. Uh, so it's nice meat here. It's one dollar piece. Uh, Namibia dollar. That's like uh, roughly zero point seven percent. Not zero point seven percent. What am I talking about? I think zero point, I don't know, it's just like one percent US. So that's how cheap um Kapana is. So I gotta go. Uh so I have some other commitment. I gotta go and just do other stuff. Uh that's the situation right there. So like I said, today is just for looking I'm not looking but eating on the market, and that's exactly what I've done. So I've just eaten on the market. Uh, so I was looking for food. I didn't get food, but that's all I got. So uh, let me show you a bit of Rondo town. So let's go and that's what we're gonna do So that's the situation today in town. So the town is full a lot of cars That's a small beautiful town of Rondo. So thank you very much after you know Kapana, this is the situation right here now I'm getting back to show you some more part of Rondo. So that's the situation right there. It's beautiful uh, it's fantastic small little town of Rundu and this is how great this small town is so it's fantastic it's fantastic so it's beautiful that's what I've done just eaten and now on my way to show you some more part of Rundu so the situation looks great the weather is great it's not extremely hot uh, but it's a little bit a uh, little bit warm cloud cover though so the situation is it's great I should say uh so let's get going so that's rundu uh let me just take you around and show you uh rundu beach uh just, let me just show you so that's how beautiful rundu road is uh, so i'm on the way to rundu beach so the mighty rundu beach of rundu uh of rundu beach of course um so it's preceded by rundu anyway so it's rundu uh, so that's where we had it um so the weather looks great now over there you see in the distance is Kalai and that's the situation here so it's it's beautiful it's, uh, it's fantastic uh, the greenery on the side makes uh, you know this road even more beautiful so the situation is fantastic what you see on the di uh, in the distance on the horizon that's Kalai is a small town on the other side of uh, on the other side after the river so that's Kalai that's Angola so a small town in Angola but this is the ro the road to Rundu Beach. So if you come to Rundu, you want to see Rundu Beach. So this is the road that takes you to Rundu Beach. So I'm ambling down uh, down this road and then heading to Rundu Beach. So you can already see the river in the distance. So it looks fantastic. Uh, so this is the mighty Rundu Beach that you always hear about. Now that what you see in the distance down there is uh, is the river. So it's fantastic. And this is how it looks all over here. So there was gonna be some development for whatever reason things stalled and it just looks deserted and grass overgrown and yeah that's the situation right there so that's what you get now here uh this is rundu beach so we're ambling down at rundu beach exactly at rundu beach so that's the weather that's how the situation looks uh trees overgrown over here so that's the situation um and yeah so i'm literally i've literally taken you to the river um 
this ladies and gentlemen is Rondo Beach so you can see a boat uh, if you get money you come here the boat takes you around uh, so that's the situation and that's what we, we are so just to show you a little bit of Rondo Beach and that's where we are today um, so the situation is what it is and uh, that's the river over there so uh, that's what it is like I always say you know my job apart from environmental issues also to take you around show you um, you know Rundu show you the environment show you you know the beautiful sceneries here in Africa so so thank you very much uh, so that's it about Rundu Beach so I'm gonna take you and show you elsewhere <laughs>